praise the Lord. Today's devotion is from Psalm 7. The topic is not weary but strong. Here we read about the man by name Cush. This Benjamite was making false accusations against David. But here we read that David goes straight to the Lord for help with no doubt, no other second plan or thought, he fully trusts in the Lord. Sometimes some of us make or think about other plans just in case God doesn't answer in our time or God's plan doesn't work as we want it. We spend time in prayer but we have other plans outside of God's plan. We fail to fully trust in the Lord God. That is why most of the time we fail to get blessings from the God. David calls on the Lord to rise and do the right judgment. David asks the Lord to judge according to David's own righteousness and integrity. Dear beloved sisters, David is not altogether a righteous person. He is like any one of us. But only in this context here, he believes he is not at all fault and he is innocent. So he is asking the Lord to respond and act and do the righteous judgment according to David's own righteousness and integrity. He boldly asks the Lord to look at his heart. He says, I am clean in this matter from all the accusations this man Cush is making up against me. David takes his problem to the Lord. Romans 12 verse 19 We should not take matters in our own hands. Vengeance belongs to God and we need to leave it to our Lord God. David actually asking the Lord to judge him too. In this particular charge, he says this with his clear conscience. He knew that he was upright in this specific matter. David says his enemy is planning wickedness. He is enlarging his wicked ideas and he is giving birth to evil for his own trouble. David strongly believes that. Unless the wicked repent, God would judge them to eternal fire. The wicked is trapped in his own net or pit that he made. David's conclusion and confidence is that evil, his enemy will reap whatever he sows. David trusts fully in the Lord. He is not going to worry about this man, his enemy. God will take care of him with his righteous judgment. That's what David strongly believes. How have we responded to circumstances like this in our life? When someone falsely accuses us, let us cast all our cares onto the Lord, our worries and fear. In the end, we can find peace. David found peace. How? By fully trusting in his Lord God. When we are falsely accused, let us not go weary but find strength and peace in our Lord.